Hi students, after a long time we are meeting, yeah. So today we are going to start with the chapter number 14, Propagation of Sound Waves. Uh, this particular chapter is from the 9th ICSC syllabus. Uh, so what all things basically we are going to cover here is, this chapter is related to propagation. Propagation means what? How sound travels from one place to another. So the entire discussion will be on the traveling of sound. So for subsequently when we go in the 10th standard, there will be different characteristics of sound and so many other things that we are going to discuss about this. Okay. So the first and the basic foremost thing that we need to study in this is the how the sound is produced. Yeah, the most important thing sound is produced, the production of sound. So now, right now also when I am talking to you all, what is that is making the sound? Basically, the sound is coming from my vocal cords. Yeah. Let us take some different other other um, other examples. Like the most common example that we have in our school is the school bell. Correct. The hammer hangs. Uh, the current is passed through that electric circuit, and that hammer keeps on hitting the gong. Yeah. Then you all might have seen the drum beating being played on your on your school ground. Yeah, during your maybe annual day or sports day things. Yeah, so what what happens basically in that the drum it has a membrane sheet over it. It hits the um, so when someone hits that, so the membrane is vibrating. Correct. You take a steel uh, plate and you hit it with some metal body. What will happen again? It it produces sound. Uh, then someone talking to each other is again of course an example of uh, the same vocal cord. So basically, if you see in all these examples, how is sound being produced? That is the production of sound. Yeah, it all depends upon this one phenomenon called as vibrations. Yeah, so because of vibrations, sound is being produced. Can we all see that? And basically, when we say what is sound, sound is nothing but an energy. Yeah, right now also when I'm talking to you all, the sound is being propagated through the air and inside the camera it is being captured. Yes, can you all see? And how and when do we understand? Can we see the sound by our eyes? Not at all. Yes, so sound, it is nothing but a sensation that we can feel in our ears when we hear something. Are you all understanding this? First of all, sound is a form of energy and it is produced only and only because of some kind of vibrations. Yeah. Then second thing that we need to see over here is the propagation. And so in, when I say propagation, definitely propagation means what? Propagation means how sound will travel from one place to another. Right now, I am talking to you all. Let's take the same example. What is there between me and the camera mic or whatever microphone that I have connected over here? It is nothing but the air medium that is there in and around us. Whenever you all are hearing all the different examples that we saw, the striking of the uh, drum or hitting the plate or our doorbell, all these examples, what is there between our ears and that particular source of sound? Nothing but the air medium. So can I say that the sound needs a particular medium for it to travel? But then a question comes, can sound travel in vacuum? No. Why? Because sound needs a medium to travel. To understand this, we have one very simple experiment. Let's see this. It is also called as the bell jar experiment. Okay, it is very simple and a very interesting experiment. Pay attention carefully. So here we have this one bell jar. Okay, and here it is closed completely, tightly, properly. And there is, we will connect one electric circuit. Okay. <coughs> and inside this, we have that door, uh, that bell, that normal gong wala bell. Okay, and there is also a connection over here made to a vacuum pump okay now what i'll do i'll switch on this okay as and as i switch is, switch it on what will happen current will flow from this and the bell will start hitting this yeah and i'll be able to hear the sound that is being produced as simple as this correct 
but then what I do after some time now the bell the bell is still ringing okay and I switch on the vacuum pump so what will the vacuum pump do it will suck the entire air that is there in this glass jar correct so when that takes place what will happen slowly and slowly the intensity with which I'm going hearing this bell the sound bell yeah it will go on reducing now what is happening and until a point comes when this hammer although the hammer is hitting the gong but I'm not able to hear the sound now why it is happening like this because there is no air medium so no air medium no sound the sound cannot propagate in this kind of medium are you all understanding this subsequently again I make it in a normal mode what will happen it will push on the air inside this and then again I'll be able to hear the sound so can you all see sound needs a particular medium to travel from one place to another sound does not require uh, sorry uh, sound cannot travel in vacuum yeah so now uh, so for this medium for the sound to travel it need it, it should have certain characteristics or we can also say requisites requisites of a medium first of all it should have inertia then it should be elastic and it should be frictionless these are the three characteristics let's discuss one by one now why inertia it should have so basically how sound travels we will see this what happens is right now I'm talking to y'all okay let's take the same example what is there between me and your ears it is nothing but the air medium let's let us say you are standing you are sitting in front of me and I'm talking to y'all yeah so when that is happening air medium is there correct so as I am producing the sound from my mouth there are so many air particles yes so how these particles travel just pay attention ah, how this sound travels pay attention this see there are many air particles yeah I am denoting them by dots okay what will happen is this one particle as I am producing the sound it will hit this particle yes and hit means what it is doing basically wo kya kar raha hai? energy ye wala particle isko energy de raha hai phir ye kya karega ye isne isko energy de diya ye wapas seedha ho gaya ye kya karega ye energy aage wale ko dega phir ye seedha ho jayega aise karte 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 what is happening the sound is traveling in the further direction are you all understanding this so this is the source of sound and here if suppose let's say a person is sitting and he is able to hear the sound so what is going to happen is he is going to hit and it is going to come back yeah so it has to have the inertia means what it needs to store the energy it needs to store this mechanical energy why because it has to take that energy from one place to another are you all understanding this second it has to be elastic but just now we spoke about that had this particle if this particle gives the energy and if suppose it, if it doesn't come back what will happen this particle will not be able to receive that energy the second particle will not be able to receive the energy properly and the further and propagation of the energy becomes difficult in this case so the and the particles must be elastic why because what will happen they will give the energy and it will come back are you all understanding this third is and third is the most easiest one that is frictionless frictionless why we all know with the, because of friction what happens it takes up the un, um, unnecessary amount of energy and then whatever sound we need to travel will not be able to go of course it is not possible for us to remove the entire friction but still we can try to reduce as much possible so I hope you all understood this in a short video I have tried to cover much concepts uh, henceforth the remaining part of the this particular chapter will keep on continuing the videos will keep on coming now hopefully you have uh, understood all the concepts that we have covered in this if you have still any doubts still if you feel some part is not covered please put it in the comment section hit a like button if you like this video and please please subscribe to my channel thank you so much